बंदे गुजरात waiting for this episode right yes because you all want to know what happened with amit and bhupen how's their adventure camp how's their trekking whatever let's see what they do in the camp is there enjoy or will it be in trouble dear students this is the story so there must be some thrill some suspense right so let's see what happened in last episode we had seen that amit and bhupen planned for the camp the next week amit and bhupen joined the camp on the first day they went out together to explore the forest here in this picture amit and bhupen going together and they explore the forest they saw many birds insects and animals look in this picture here are some birds rhino so amit and bhupen saw many birds in this forest during the night they lost their way but soon they got back on track those moments are really thrilling for them look here at night they have a bon fire at there so they enjoying the adventure camp on the second day it was late in the evening the boys were a long way off from the camp they were walking along the brahmaputra river they could hear the cries of animals all around them on that time bhupen says walk fast we must get to the camp quickly they hear the trumps of elephant amit was excited in an excited voice amit says do you think we will see any elephants bhupen says wait wait 
Suddenly, Bhupen stopped and held up his hand. They stood still and listened. Thumb, thumb, thumb. A big animal was coming towards them. Dear students, you know which animal was there? It is an elephant. Bupen whispered. They walked quickly on the grass and hid behind a big tree. A big black creature with white tusks, thick legs, big ears, small eyes, a long trunk was coming towards them. It was coming closer and closer and closer. Amit says, Bupin, it's an elephant. What a big creature it is. I can't believe it. It's a dream. I have never seen a living elephant in my life. Can I see it from very near? Bhuban says, please, please, keep distance. Keep distance from the elephant. Bhuban was worried. There was a large elephant about 30 feet away. He is angry. Shhh. Bhupen whispered. The elephant heard their voices. He smelled them too. He put his long trunk up in the air and trumped loudly. Bhupen and Amit could not move a bit. Bhupen was afraid, but Amit wasn't. He was enjoying himself. Slowly, the elephant came towards them. Now, he was 25 feet away. He was shaking his hand in anger. He is going to attack us, Bhupen whispered to Amit. We must do something. Bupen pulled out a big brown paper bag from his pocket. There were some sweets in it. He threw away the sweets on the grass. He started to blow into the bag. Soon the bag was like a big balloon. He hit it hard with his hand and then... What a loud voice it was. Fattak. It echoed over the forest. The elephant stopped, trumped angrily and turned away. He walked quickly through the tall grass and soon this appeared into the forest. What a useful trick. Both the boys felt relieved. Bupen laughing softly and said, He thought we had a gun. Amit said, Yes. They walked towards the camp. After some times, Bupen said, Look, those are the lights of our camp. What a thrilling experience it was. Oh, wow. What an adventure experience they had. Hadn't they? If there was a mistake, then what happened? The elephant attacked on them. But now they are safe. Let's read the story again. But before that, let's see some new words and uh, understand them. Okay? So dear students, our first word is explore. In story, we had read that Bhupen and Amit 
explore the forest. Now we have another word, thrilling. Ghani var evu thai ne, ki aapade bhoj excite thai jiye. Jo aya, aro wo ketla excite chhe. So it called thrilling. Let's see another word. Whispered. अपने reading करता है ता, अने story में अपन अपने जो के घनी जगह है भूपेन whispered, whispered, whispered. Speak very softly using one's breath rather than one's throat. Let's see another word. Excited. तमने वो नहीं लगतो कि मरा आवाज द्वारा तमने खबर पड़ी जाए कि excited सोचे. Yes, जहाँ रे आपने कहीं बहुत एंथ्यूसियास्टिक कोई, बहुत इगर होई है, त्यारे एक्साइटेड, जो आओ कहीं कोई ने, त्यार आपने बहुत एक्साइटेड होई है। भूपेन अफ्रेड है तो, but अमित क्यों एक्साइटेड हो तो, इन्हें एलिफंट जो हो तो, so अभी सिचुएशन होई, त्यारे we feel excited. Now let's see another word, it is worried. जहरे आपने कोई ट्रबल में मुकाई जाइए, कोई मुश्किल ये भी जाइए। On that time we worried। स्टोरी में अपन आपने जोयो कि भूपेन के लो वरीड होतो, कारण के एलिफंट इनी नजीक होतो होतो, इतना मटे ये वरीड होतो। So this is called worried। Now we have another one, afraid। भूपेन afraid। Elephant in energy ka hoto to. On that time, he afraid. This is the picture of afraid. Aapne ahu feel karta hoi hai. Now we have another word. Enjoying. I know, you all know this word. Thank you, aapne to ghani vara shabda use kariye chan. Enjoying. Let's see. Here in this picture, a one boy swing. On that time, he feel enjoying. Now we have another word, pulled out. Here, samjai gai wa chitra di, what is pulled out? Tamne yaad chhe, jyare elephant bhupen ane amit ni naji kao to ho to, tiyare bhupen e idea vichar yo, ane ena pocket ma, che big brown color ni bag padi hati, ane pulled out kari. Ane pachhi, to tamne story khabar chhe, okay? So, this is pulled out. Echoed. Aasu hase. Let's see. An echo is a reflection of sound arriving at the listener sometime after the direct sound. Now, we have another word. Angrily. Angrily. Kon yaad aave chhe? Aas shabda par thi? When you are in anger, you f look like this, angrily. Now we have another word, trumpet. Here in this picture, an elephant, trumpet. So, this is called cries of elephant. Now we have another word, creature. So dear students, animals and big insects, all are called creature. Now we have another word. White tusk. Here in this picture, you can see this. It called white tusk. Now we have another word. Trick. Yes. This idea ne. Bija shabda ma kehwai chhe trick. Now I think you all were cleared about these words. Let's begin to read the story. So please uh, open your textbook page number 30. I am going to read the story. You just keep your eyes on the text and just listen. Here I am going to read our story. The next week, Amit and Bhupen 
join the camp. On the first day, they went out together to explore the forest. They saw many birds, insects and animals. During the night, they lost their way but soon they got back on track. Those moments were really thrilling for them. On the second day, it was late in the evening. The boys were a long way off from the camp. They were walking alone the Brahmaputra river. They could hear the cries of animals all around them. Bhupen says, Walk fast. We must get to the camp quickly. They heard the trumpet of elephants. Amit was excited. Amit says in an excited voice, Do you think we will see any elephants? Bhupen says, Wait. Suddenly, Bhupen stopped and held up his hand. They stood still and listened. Thumb, thumb, thumb. A big animal was coming towards them. It's an elephant. Bhupen whispered. They walked quickly on the grass and hid behind a big tree. A big black creature with white tusks, thick legs, big ears, small eyes, a long trunk was coming towards them. It was coming closer and closer. Amit says, Bhupen, it's an elephant. What a big creature it is. I can't believe it. It's a dream. I have never seen a living elephant in my life. Can I see it from very near? Bhupen says, Please keep distance from the elephant. Bhupen was worried. There was a large elephant about 30 feet away. He is angry. Shh! Bhupen whispered. The elephant heard their voices. He smelled them too. He put his long trunk up in the air and trumpeted loudly. Bhupen and Amit could not move a bit. Bhupen was afraid, but Amit wasn't. He was enjoying himself. Slowly, the elephant came towards 
them. Now he was twenty five feet away. He was shaking his head in anger. He is going to attack us. Bhupen whispered to Amit, We must do something. Bhupen pulled out a big brown paper bag from his pocket. There were some sweets in it. He threw away the sweets on the grass. He started to blow into the bag. Soon the bag was like a big balloon. He hit it hard with his hand. And the voice is Patak. What a loud voice it was. It echoed over the forest. The elephant stopped, trumpeted angrily and turned away. He walked quickly through the tall grass and soon disappeared into the forest. What a useful trick. Both the boys felt relieved. He thought we had a gun, said Bhupen, laughing softly. Yes, said Amit. They walked towards the camp. After some time, Bhupen said, Look, those are the lights of our camp. What a thrilling experience it was. So, it is a thrilling experience, don't you? I know you, even me, Amit and Bhupen, all are so excited with this experience. We read it, we see it. But don't you think if we see them actually, Amit and Bhupen and this story, it is more exciting. I am so excited. And I know you all are too. So let's go there with the Amit and Bhupen. Dear students, welcome to this camp. Okay, this is Kaziranga forest. Uh, here are many animals, birds, insects, any etc. And I must say you enjoy. Uh, but be careful because uh, here are many dangerous animals and insects. So please uh, keep in group and we have to explore the forest but don't forget the rules. Student, I must say you will enjoy trekking camp but remember don't forget the rules of this jungle. Okay? Okay, okay sir. sir. Be careful. Wow! What a jungle! Hey, what a, what a bird! Amit and Bhupen going together and they explore the forest. They saw many birds, insects and animals. During the night they lost their way but soon they got back on track. Those moments are really thrilling for them. What a beautiful day today. We yeah, had a seen Beautiful birds, rhino, some deer. We are so lucky, huh? Yes, really, we are lucky. Yes, let's sleep now. Yes. Bye for now. On the second day, it was late in the evening. The boys were a long way 
off from the camp. They were walking along the Brahmaputra river. They could hear the crisis of animals all around them. On that time, Bhopen says, walk fast. We must get to the camp quickly. They hear the drums of elephant. Stop, stop. Amit was excited. Do you think we will see an Ellie elephant? Wait. A big animal was coming towards them. It is an elephant. A big black creature with white tusks, thick legs, big ears, small eyes, a long trunk was coming towards them. Bupen pulled out a big brown paper bag from his pocket. There were some sweets in it. He threw away the sweets on the grass. He started to blow into the bag. Soon the bag was like a big balloon. He hit it hard with his hand and then He thought we have a gun. Yes. In this story, elephant was going to attack on Amit and Bhupen. Why? Because he thought that they came to kill him. Otherwise, they are so good. They never harm to us. When they do this, actually, in this story, Amit and Bhupen explore the forest and forest is the home of elephant. So, elephant thought that Amit and Bhupen were came there to kill him. Actually, there are some rules about forest and sanctuary. We have to follow them. Do you remember? Uh, in standard 7, we have a story about Lakshmi and Fezan. They also exploring the forest and we learnt about some rules of forest at that time in standard 7. Now just we recall them again. If we follow this rule, we never find this kind of trouble. Let's see them. So, here are the rules of the jungle. Let's see. We must have to follow these rules. What we can do and what we can don't do. So here are the do's and don'ts. Use binoculars for observation. When we are going to explore the forest, we can use binoculars for the observation to elephants, birds, insects, etc. The another rule is shoot with camera. We can use 
the camera to catch their photos to catch videos of the birds animals etc the third rule is enter with prior permit observe silence in the park move with the guide only it must be move with the guide only write suggestion in the book at reception center these are the do's we can do at the time of exploring the forest now these are the don'ts what we can't do like blow horn smoke or kindle fire get down from vehicle play radio other musical systems carry fire arms or explosives throw plastic bags anywhere so this we can't do we have another rules also let's see them rules of jungle we should not throw garbage anywhere in the jungle dear friends jungle is animals home so we should not throw garbage anywhere in the jungle the second rule we should not make loud noise in the jungle it must the third one is we should not park or stop our vehicles anywhere in the jungle we should not give food to animals in the jungle so students it was a thrilling and excited experience but it may not happen every time we should care ourselves we should care animals too they are our valuable heritage we should love them and if we enter their world or go outside or go in camp or in forest we must follow the rules of jungle so dear students i hope you all enjoyed this lesson we will meet again in next episode with some new activities with more fun so bye for now thank you Gujarat